can we just stay here for a little bit? Just kind of take it all in, enjoy the music. I think I've discovered a new addiction, guys, okay? And I don't have those typically, only for video games and, and family, truthfully. But I've recently been just editing videos and listening to Life is Strange music, which is, uh, it's pretty relaxing. And I've actually not posted any videos of this game after part one at the time of recording this third episode. And so I just wanted to make it clear, a lot of you guys are asking me if we're going to finish the full game. And yes, 100%, I don't care if these videos do 10 views or a million views. I know this is one of those games that I just want to take my time with it. I want to embrace it. I don't want to rush it because these sorts of games don't come often. And so I just wanted to reassure you guys that we will be continuing the game and finishing all the other episodes and whatnot. So with that said, welcome back to Life is Strange. As you know, today we start off episode three. We're going to be doing it in one full run. These videos oftentimes take time because they get a lot of copyrights. Uh, and I've got to go back and edit the music, take it off, put a different one that kind of matches. You know, it, it's it's a process and there's like a hundred different games that I'm recording behind the scenes that I can't release yet, but I got to do so I can be on time. It's a lot of work, uh, Q4 of 2023, and it's a good thing. I'm really happy to be in the position that, that I'm in. And I'm really thankful for you guys for being patient with me. So with that said, buckle up, sit back, relax, grab a snack, a drink, uh, get cozy. And uh, let's continue our Try Not to Cry simulator walkthrough here. Okay, episode three, Chaos Theory. I know this song is already going to be copyright. Just know if some of the music gets changed a little bit, just know why. That's the only complaint I've got with this remastered version. Why not, why not add a... Uh, honestly, that's the only complaint I've had so far with the game. That they did not include a streamer-friendly mode. At least for the remastered version of the game. my teen years, but fuck. What a vibe. Kate! I knew you. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. So she's got something to show us. Wait, was there somebody there? Uh. Guys, am I going crazy? There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Literally. So last episode, we uh, rescued Kate. Um, we managed to save her. Nobody's died. Nobody's been in, in, in any sort, sort of problem so far, which is fantastic. And uh, I, I do feel like somebody is out the, outdoors watching us. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but... Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. What? I've watered it twice. What the f- Okay. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. That Max is a good friend. Wow. She took over. Are you hungry, Bunny? Here, nosh on this. We've actually discussed uh, between me and uh, Rebecca to get uh, a pet for the kids. Uh, for my son Ryan and daughter Ruby and uh, we want to get a dog but it, it's such a huge responsibility I don't know I might we might opt out to a bunny or something like that let's go ahead and open the drawer it's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today 
She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Mm. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. This room is such a vibe too, bro. Like... Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. All right, so I'm trying to take my time here. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, no, don't do that. Um, we've already done that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop here. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, God. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Arcadia Bay Online News. Blackwell student attempts suicide on campus. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from a roof of a campus dormitory today. With most of the students and faculty as uh, startled witnesses, authorities confirmed that the student Kate Marsh, 18 years old, had been troubled about information, uh, but information is, had been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an under, unidentified student talking to uh, Marsh down to safety. Click here for the video footage and further details. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Hmm. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of the following missing persons, please immediately contact the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Rachel Ember, since 13. Wow, even Elton Kesey or Kessie, kind of old. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. To be disappearing like that at that age, that's kind of wild. Anyways, Kate, uh, Beverly Marsh, Taylor, uh, get well soon. Victoria, sending love to Kate. Evan Harris, Mark, Alyssa, Courtney. Okay. Everybody's sending her well wishes. That's her social media page? <laughs> Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Mm. So that was that big uh, choice we made at the end. Support Mr. Jefferson. This is a page created by students to support Mr. Mark Jefferson after the uh, he was unfairly removed from representing Blackwell Academy at the National Everyday Heroes event in San Francisco for reasons unknown. We're not aligned with the school faculty, only students expressing our outrage. Uh, the most popular and distinguished professor at Blackwell should be treated so poorly. Mr. Jefferson is the face of photography on campus, plus an inspiration to his many students. Please like if you support Mr. Jefferson and would like to, uh, the school to reverse its poor decision. Leave your comments below. Any extreme language will be deleted. Anonymous, fuck this Nazi bullshit. Brooke Scott, bring back Mr. Jefferson. Uh, Warren Jefferson Power, Hayden Jones. Anybody know this weird shit going on around Blackwell this week? Alyssa Anderson, I boycott class until Mr. Jefferson comes back. Victoria, the major reason I came to Blackwell was Mark Jefferson. Uh, Daniel DeCosta, please allow Mr. Jefferson to return. He is the best teacher I've had. Juliet Watson, let's create a petition. PM me for more details. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Time is bunk. Douglas Adams. Evan Harris, you actually made me proud to be a Blackwell. Bravo, Max. Bravo. Daniel Costa, eres una chica dura. Warren Graham, Max Power. Hayden Jones, epic. Brooke Scott, watching you walk down that roof with Kate was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. All right, we're making headlines here. Not bad. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. All right. Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. All right, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Bro, somebody's gonna sneak into our dorm. 
Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm wrong. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Okay, this is starting a little ominous. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Hmm. We've got another Rachel poster here. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? This is, uh, we'll wait for Kate. outside. Good, good. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Mm. Alright, so let's see if we can get out of here. Whoa, this is Kate's... Oh, shit. So much hypocrite. Literally, bro. Everybody that bullied her into what she was trying to do is now trying to be like, oh my god, we're so sorry. We hope you get better. The end of the world might be coming before your party. We hope you get better, Kay. Yeah. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Yeah, that's kind of excessive. Kind of dramatic, to be honest. Ooh. Okay, there's a trail. There's a trail going to the bathroom. What is this all about? Oh, what the fuck? Hold on, before I do that, she's brushing her teeth at this time of day. I bet she'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Alright, let's go check her out. Here we go. Hello. Little brat. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Hey, Taylor. <laughs> hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. Where did she go? Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Yeah, I don't want to be an asshole because honestly, um, we could rewind this, but I feel like that's a good choice. I don't want to be an ass because at the end of the day, maybe these these kids, you know, they're... Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time going through her shit. They're, they're, maybe they're, I don't know, their morales and their uh, reasonings kind of hey, Max? switch Come here. after this incident here. Everybody's going through it right now. You can tell everybody's sad. Dana's really hurting over this. Hold on, before we speak to her. This is both sad and pathetic. We read this already in the last episode. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Hey, you don't mind if I look through your computer, right? Uh, actually, I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm doing it. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. 
All right, from Trevor to Dana. Hey, Dana, I've been thinking about you all day, and uh, I know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the rooftop today. But the Max swooped in like a hero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just wanted you to know that uh, you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else was so fucked up, and I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. From Dana to Trevor, thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof, and I feel like I should have done more to help here uh help her max did more than anybody to save kate and i don't even know or i don't even think that they're bffs so happy you're thinking about me i cannot wait to see you tomorrow and you're just as good for me as you think i am for you dreaming of you tonight if dana talks to juliet about this she's gonna wish she didn't all right from julia to dana dana hope you're doing okay after today i don't want to bother you but i'm writing an article about kate for the paper and i wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions, it seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. Hi, right, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. I have a fucking headache now. So please, let me crash. Aw, oh, shit. Okay. Let's, um, let's rewind. Let's see what other info we can gather. Hey, Dana. Better than Kate. Alright, she was depressed. I know. And then we'll Must go, be serious. We'll go to Kate was serious. Why was she on the roof? Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? Hmm. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. Mm. We'll talk later. Let me try one more real quick. Hey, better than. Hmm. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True, but you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. Hmm. Where was everybody? Why was she on the roof? So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Ooh. Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier. All right, Not so. me. I like how that, how that that happens. You technically get more or less the same answer for certain things, but um, in a different like wording. That's pretty cool. I wonder how many lines the characters had to do. That is so damn cute. How much Dana is into this Halloween party. Oh boy. Uh, 
Uh, Max, I can't see shit. <laughs> uh, okay. What does it say there? Hey, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Okay. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. Yo, everybody's so hypocritical here. That's crazy, bro. We're off to a really mysterious beginning here for episode three. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. All right, in front of the main hall. Got a bench. If we sit here. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Oh, this is open? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Why the hell would this be open? Nothing here. Okay. Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Ooh, hold on. Get that ass in gear now, Max. I'm going, bro. Relax. Oh, by the way, let's see mom. Uh... Thanks for letting me gush over our black war hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud uh, to milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxie. Warren. I like Warren, man. He's cool. What'd he say? Man, it's so hard to, like, navigate this thing. Yo, yo, Max. Just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool. And you totally earned dinner on me, along with our escape to the planet of apes. Call me. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Especially since I got Mr. Jefferson kicked out of his own contest. Call you later, okay? A private number? Did we read this? Keep your, uh, keep your, uh, keep your smart mouth about, uh, shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. What the fuck? So once I gave Julia the proof that Victoria was behind this, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, so I had to look around to see if I could find out why. Find a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and a doctor's appointment. Dana admitted she was pregnant and I realized that all of my friends have troubles and are just as significant as mine. I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but... There has to be a reason it was given to me, so I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa and getting a football field headshot. From getting a football field headshot, I made it felt amazing to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole as usual, but I felt good about what I did. And Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did that without using my rewind power. This day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe that uh, what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case, though, I turned out uh, it turned out it turned out half bad and half good, which I guess he uh, or I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot, I checked out his new retro wheels. Guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit, even though I was scared because I know he did uh, what he did to that girl in the bathroom. I was more furious. So this is still her talking about episode one, um, but it's good to read because sometimes you get her inner thoughts, which is pretty cool. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in a truck, my former best friend, Chloe Price, which she didn't recognize her because of the blue hair. And obviously, I don't know, maybe some sort of puberty uh, changes going on a little taller, a little older, but I don't know, voice change, whatever it may be. So we both looked at each other like, what the fuck? The next thing I knew I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren a big time. Uh, I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock. I almost, par I was almost paralyzed, especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. No pun intended with the blue hair and all that stuff. 
Of all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music and st staring uh, at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I... I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start, and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers, at least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot, melee, with Nathan and Warren, my camera got bushed up. I didn't care considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self, cool and chaotic. I couldn't tell she was pissed. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill, so I explored her room and played catch up on what she was into these days. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She did become best friends with Rachel and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell uh, I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe in all those years when she most needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and uh, be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. We'll end it here at uh, page 20. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup uh, of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why she's got serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix a stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew that I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that I had saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was happy like when we were kids and it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old Instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tune and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty just a bit. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up and it was David Madsen. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in a sketchy, uh, end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked. How uncreepy he looked. I expected some tryhard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster diving troll, which I guess he's kind of is since we were on his turf testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, aura, energy, whatever was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense uh, he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like uh, reservoir dogs, and I saw that uh, maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again. Since he was wearing one of Rachel Ambers' bracelets for what the fuck reasons, I doubt Chloe will be partying with him anymore. But he's at the top of our suspect list now. Something down here, bottom left. Girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves, so who does? Bro, that was so like hidden, I could have easily missed that. There's so much weird shit going on in this game, like... Hi there, little squirrel. Look at the lens and say nut. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Gotcha. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Oh my god. What is he doing up at this time? What a day. 
Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Hmm. Obviously, we gotta rewind time. Get out of here, Principal, Principal Wells. Try. Oh, sh he's still there. Max the ninja strikes again. Whoa, he was drinking, huh? Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Yeah. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Hmm, don't joke, chaos theory. Uh. Please don't joke about this, Chloe. Not right now. Max, I'm not laughing at you. My old counselor told me that my sarcasm was a way of avoidance. That's why he's my ex-counselor. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Hmm. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Mm -hmm. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? Hmm. I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Ooh. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. Whoa. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives oh. a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Turned off the lights. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to rewind and ask her more questions, but... Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. <laughs> Did she? Well... Oh my god. Hannah 
does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. Hmm. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Yo, she's trying to whore herself up into, uh... Are you fucking kidding me? Into this contest. What slight? Little rich bratty slight? Sorry. Shouldn't call her that. It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. That's pretty wild, though. Her talking to her teacher like that for, like, her own benefit. That, I mean, that dude could get in so much trouble, bro. Like, yikes. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. We really breaking into the school like this? This is savagery. And illegal, Chloe. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I, I like Chloe. She's a cool character. Obviously we played with her in uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm, but she is a bad influence, bro. Like, for whatever re reasons, you know, she does what she does, but shit, dude. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. She's bad influence, bro. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. I'm just making sure we don't miss anything here. Maybe there's like an open... Ooh! This is all open! Well, well, well! Well, what do we have here? <clears throat> Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. <clears throat> Ass biology. Ugh, gross. Ass biology? Is that what she said? <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we can also go here and see if we can go into uh, Jefferson's room. I never said they were great, troll. Max takes shit selfies. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Sorry. I wonder if this will have an effect. I don't think so. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your yep. slumber. All right, so we've got the photo, which is good. Have here. Hmm. I think we're all set on this room. I'm gonna go this way and see if we can go into Jefferson's uh, class and see what sort of documents we can find on this table. 
Max, how about we walk a little faster? You know, that'd be nice. All right, good. It's opened. Awesome. There's no way I'm not going to check this room out, especially after we just saw that cutscene between uh, this chick and the teacher. Obviously, this has got to be something going on in here. A cigarette pack. Who was smoking? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Ah. So they were in his room. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Hmm. So those are her pictures. Um, we've got a letter here and a photo. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. So he's that more of a dramatic style photographer. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. From Principal Wells to Mark Jefferson. Dear Mark, I just wanted to drop you an informal note to let you know that Blackwell is conducting an investigation to the events of this week. You'll be receiving an official notice in the mail, but you deserve to be told about this now. I respect your work and status here at Blackwell and hope you won't think too harshly of me in this very difficult time. I hope this all works out in your favor. So he's pretty screwed. That's all because of us, but I think that's... I don't know. I'm just assuming here that was probably the better choice. <clears throat> I mean, it just seemed like the the least harmful choice out of all of them. So that's why I chose it. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Chloe. She was uh, this way. I hope I didn't miss anything. Let's check this room first. The bathrooms. Got a hat here. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Yes, Max. Just zombie out in the hallway. Forget about the principal's office. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Mrs. Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure that all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm, nobody, uh, I'm nobody's favorite song. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly de uh, demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of, of not uh, retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Wow, he really wrote that letter? That's it. the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. It's definitely probably better to look for the key. Just because, you know, it's Nothing not, not going to show any damage to the key, uh, the lock or whatnot. Dead end. Crap. Boring. Nothing to see here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. 
guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Mm. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. So we really couldn't find the key? Really? Okay. So let's see. Pay attention, 007. Oh god. Any questions? Sodium chlor what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create uh, chloride dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So you're really gonna try this? Keyword is try. Okay, so we need sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chloride. Uh, here's how you'll do it. Sugar. Okay, so one would be Sugar, a soda can, and duct tape. All right, so we gotta find. Oh boy. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Any machine? Release the Kraken. Kraken. <laughs> it's all okay. mine anyway. You've got a can. Uh, what else? Oh god, come on, man. Soda can, sugar, duct tape, and sodium. Only three more items to go. Sugar, where can we find sugar? In the bathroom, no. I mean, in the vending machine, there's no, like, candy or... Well, we were just here, now guess what? We gotta come back here. I hate when I do that. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. Hmm. Alright, we should be able to find something in this spot. This is the freaking lab, for God's sakes. Chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Mm, weed killer. Here's the sodium chloride box. Okay, I'll take that. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Okay. So now we need duct tape and sugar, correct? All right, where do we find the sugar? You're halfway home, Max. Mm. <laughs> All right, we need to find sugar and duct tape. Where the hell would we find sugar and more specifically, where the hell would we find duct tape? Ah. So glad you still have your locker key. Kate's Kate. locker. Let me see if um maybe if any of these lockers can be opened. Mm. Let's go back into the uh, class here for Mr. Jefferson and see if he's got something going on. This is like a scene in a horror film. 
duct tape, duct tape. Where could we find duct tape? Duct tape, got it. The tape is mine. Perfect. All right, now we just need sugar. Only one more ingredient left. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Mm. Alright, we need the sugar. I don't think the sugar is going to be anywhere on this side of campus. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Let's see. Bathroom, science class, art class. Where the fuck can we find the sugar? Should I go back to the uh, to the principal's office? Maybe the sugar's there somewhere on his uh, table, perhaps. Let's figure that out. Here we go. Sugar, sugar. This is Oregon, damn it. Bro, it was here. Where's the blood? Ooh, sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. This is not a good idea, bro. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Hmm. Get ready to haul ass. Oh boy. What a fucking that heat up. was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Shit, shit. Do something, Max. Fucking rewind time. Duh. There's nothing else to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's not do that. Oh my god. Take it easy. <laughs> oh boy, so what do we do? Do this as quickly as possible. There's nothing here to interact with. just made it inside the principal's office are you kidding me we rewinded time this ancient door is no match for max the magician what? Bullshit. Fuck you, door. bro she's gonna freak out welcome to my domain <laughs> you are magic i have no clue how the hell you got in there but you did it sister the company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. Wow. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. That is so wild, bro. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. 
Hmm. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Alright, here we go. First is first. Let's turn on the lamp. Speak to Warren. So did you blow up the lock on a bomber? Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Alright, so he doesn't know. We lied to him. Just lied to him. I certainly can't use this. We lied to him. It's probably not Looks the safest like bet. Oil paintings, Bill. Probably not the Awful. safest bet to be texting somebody about how to make a bomb, you know, just, just saying. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. So, Kate's uh, student information. GPA 3.9 represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quite work at quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged, uh, acknowledged on Bay, uh, K-Bay 7 News. And her diverse religious study group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She has also one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells is a school nurse. I should... Uh, Inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent uh, emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eye on her and make sure that she's not under duress from uh, other classmates. As uh, it is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie uh, Berenci. Okay, update. At the present time, there's a security investigation into a con uh, controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club parting that, uh, party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her other, with, along with her com uh, claim, Jesus, of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Wow. Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Wow, 3.7. Nathan Prescott continues uh, his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with the students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my the own two, personal file. 2.8. A brief summary. Max, uh, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent uh, confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Okay, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a cons uh, consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club among the organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 4.0. Considered an uh, exemplary student and uh, represents all long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has a gift or curse of uh, gab depending on the faculty. Some has a, some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not uh, confirmed by his science teacher. Ms. Grant, uh, we hope Warren focuses his, his academic visions and continues toward a uh, bright future. 
Damn, he's a nerd. Let's for real. nab this last file, Sherlock. Which is great. Always wanted him. to say nab. Good on him. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the uh, fulcrum. Principal Wells. This is uh, Lieutenant Chris Ross, Ross, Rossi, Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope to uh, for that one magic clue, but uh, once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Right, there's another ladder here. And the bird. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. You're Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy. It is my. I Glad, happy, for fortunate duty to inform you that uh, your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is now my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and students body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern of possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passions, uh, for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they've they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. I wonder if we had not signed that petition, if the cameras would have been installed and then us breaking and entering into the school would have been affected. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Principal Wells, it comes to my attention, the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library uh, wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be resigned, uh, resigned, among, resigned among others for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that uh, canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Bricks. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's mm. fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they form some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. 
We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our mm. knife showdown yesterday. Don't take it, dude. Don't take that shit. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. Office morgue. <gasps> I know that money would have no. helped Chloe and me. No, that's a dumb idea to say take the money. That's literally really stupid. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. And due to the crude outburst in Ms. Uh, Hoyt's uh, intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate the disruptions uh, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Update. Expunged record. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in the administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake. Otherwise, we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report. Wow, bro. Nathan Prescott, uh, the following is a list of the reported incidents involving Nathan. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents uh, remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at the English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tobanga statue, killing Chloe possibly. Don't forget that one. Blackwell incident report Nathan Prescott. The following is a list of report incidents. Nathan suggests his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological okay. No, we read that already. Oops. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's explanatory status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David, David would deny this and give them questionable company Rachel has been keeping. Uh, David would deny this and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain that I can believe her right now. Such creepy ass drawings. This should be hanging in a thrift store. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you.
We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Alright, so we actually have, okay, we've got the women's bathroom, the men's bathroom, we've got Chloe. I don't know if I can do anything else here. Go Otters. Uh, okay. Got a couple of ads. I hope the Otters will survive. Inform yourself, then share. Become an eco-volunteer today. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I admit I'm a goofball and I misplaced my uh, FlexiWave uh, swim goggles. I found internally grateful and a $25 Bean Hip Cafe gift card. Okay. Boys or girls? Uh. <laughs> let's go to the boys, boys locker. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. <laughs> Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I wonder if we would have said girls if we would have, uh, I don't know, done something, uh, differently with Chloe. Boys locker room. There's a jacket here. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Logan's locker. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. This is crazy. We're like sneaking up all up in here. Sometimes. Sex be up. Boys locker room <laughs> is right. Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Ooh, Warren. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Uh, because he likes you, kind of, maybe? You ever thought about that? Cell phone. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Hey, uh, this is between Victoria, Chase, and Zach. Hey, thinking bad uh, things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot, what are you wearing? I'm in a locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Okay. <laughs> no way am I touching Zach's jersey. This must be for training kids. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything too uh, drastic, too important. Anything here? No dirty laundry. Let's go into the bathroom now, shall we? Huh, oh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides Victoria herself. Victoria loves the D. <laughs> Oh shit, it's hilarious. Oh my god. Max is a feminazi. Welcome to 1950. I love Warren. I bet you do. Mm, that's fucking hilarious, bro. Oh my gosh. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Mm -hmm. Max Caulfield, moral avenger, or self-righteous hypocrite. Stop being so harsh on yourself. Oh, well, they've got that meme thing. Dana needs a baby daddy. These are the showers. Bros will be bros. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. <laughs> this is 
fucking wild, bro. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Alright, so I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing on this side, and then we'll go into that office room. I do wish there was a little bit more light here. It's kind of hard to tell where things are at and where I should be going. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Okay, this seems to be pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna go to the office and then we'll talk to Chloe. There's really not much else going on here, which is good. Which means we can just get to the bottom of this. Shit, did we come across a dead end here? No, we're good. Okay. Oh, we came from there. No, we came from here. What's this? Is this the entrance? Oh, this is a girl's room? Huh. Victoria Chase rules. Yeah, this is a girl's bathroom. This nice. isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Oh, very nice. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. Sorry, Rachel. Yeah, they've got their friggin' poster on the ground. Meaning they don't give a shit. Rachel abides. I hope so, friend. I don't know if I went into the toilet stalls uh, back there in the boys' locker. Well, we care, dickhead. Dear Kate, I don't care. God. Wow. Alright, here we go. Brooke's locker. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Sorry, Warren, but he's taken, okay? Kind of, sort of. Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Victoria's locker. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. <laughs> Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Hmm. Graffiti, otters eat beavers. The wit, it burns. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Arcadia Bay bus lines, one Portland trip ticket. Uh, August, uh, excuse me, October 2nd, $13, $18. Spires, December. This is Kate's locker. Interesting. That probably would have been a better alternative, to be honest. But then again, she probably would have done harm to herself. So, I guess not. She's safe now, which is what matters. And so now we're gonna go into this office and see if there's anything here. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Okay. Got a cup here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Now these drawers never have anything. Fuck's the point of that? Don't even think I'm going to make a move on you. Ah, there we go. Switch on the lights, perhaps? That fucking helps. Oh, it's only for the pool. That looks really nice. Oh, shit. She's ready to go. All right. Well, damn. <laughs> I didn't even know that's what we had to do, but okay. So, the big plan is... Win. It's a winner mentality. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Alright, I think we're set. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, what do we, what? Okay. Uh, Time nice. to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. 
Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! <laughs> That's cool. Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Mm. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Mm. That's, I don't know about that, but I don't want to be... I'll just go with absolutely just to keep her happy. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I mm. hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. Warren is nice. Warren is... <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan, but I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I thought they were gonna kiss or some shit. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh shoot. What the? F Where's Chloe? Let's get out sure of here. Are you shitting me? Oh, what the fuck? Step troll over here. <gasps> Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. What the fuck? I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Oh, I'm gonna look for a hiding spot. Hello? Hold on. Hello. 
Come on, Where come are on. they? Come on, come on. Hello? Come on, just stay hidden. Please don't come over here. Oh my god, he's gonna come all the way. Hello? Over. Anybody there? No, there's nobody here. Leave. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. This is like from like a 90s I movie. I heard something over here. That's crazy. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Oh, no. You could have gotten caught. I like how you actually had to hide and now, like, press A somewhere and then get like a little cutscene. You actually had to Wait, go. Oh. Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car. Get in! That's a heat up, especially with the car turning on. <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so <laughs> fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. I'm surprised there was no music there. That's crazy. Very interesting start to the episode. This is definitely the calm portion of the episode. Let's see how crazy it ends. They always tend to end somewhat crazy and lucrative. I'll just wait for that moment. Good old sleepover with my best pal. With my girlfriend. That's weird. Why does she look so much taller than Chloe there? Let me see something. I want to check something. I don't know. Is the music turned off? What's going on? It's on. Okay. Always remember this moment. It's like a selfie. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. 
Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. No, it is freezing, but I think we have. There's music to here. Fall. Might have to need this waving here. Waving at the taxis, sure. they keep turning their lights off. <laughs> okay, I need to get dressed now. Good music, by the way. Julie knows a party at some actors' west. Oh, we've got Warren's journal here. What does he say? Glad to see you didn't blow up uh, Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the driving is actually popular, so I'm buying tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can uh, come back out now. Supplies are in the I don't think I'll be blushing today. Morning. I wish we could reply to the text message, you know, like choose. Not what to say, but like choose. Do you want to reply or not? I could have hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case. That would have been great, but I didn't think of that like an idiot. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. So much cool, like, designs in this game. It's freaking awesome. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Hmm. Can't compete with Ray. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. No, no you, you fucking whore. Sheesh. Heavy part. I can feel it when we came. <clears throat> Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. What do we have here? A joint? <laughs> I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my part. I'm gonna get dressed real quick. Again. Chloe, I love you, but still reeks like a chlorine. Factory. I got to get dressed. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion. No, no, okay. We're changing clothes finally for the first time in the entire game. Excellent. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Oh boy. Hey, there I remember you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Mm. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. That's creepy. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Bro, I like I like Chloe a lot, especially since, you know, I played before the storm and she was technically the first person I played with when it comes to Life is Strange. But I, I, I really like Warren for uh, for Max. I don't know if that's going to come into fruition, if that anything's ever going to happen with that. And if it does, this might be the pivotal moment in that uh, possible timeline. I hate making these sorts of decisions, man. I really do. Uh, I really like Max and, and Warren. I really do. I really do. I, I really do think that Chloe and Max are kind of just best friends. But it was a dare, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Whoa. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Damn, girl. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl on girl action. You're such a dork. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Oh, that, man. that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. A little pecker? She didn't think I would. It's just a little pecker. Not bad. Okay. Fine. Not that bad. Alright, let's get dressed. I thought they were going to get all sexual and chaotic, but no, it's a little pecker. Honestly. Fuck it. Ooh, whoa! Dude, she looks good. Look at that. Looking <laughs> sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. 
Free breakfast? <laughs> I have to uh, wake and bake first. Wake and I bake. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Why do you call your mother Joyce instead of mom? That's it's kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. Did I open this already? Wow. I remember this yeah. We already did. Box. Wow, sir. Hmm. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? Mm. My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, <laughs> sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. <laughs> then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. <clears throat> oh, that's a good point. At least we haven't been identified yet. Oh, they reported to the break in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 11, 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Incident police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off the uh, Pack and Path Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He is uh, being held without bail and depending for their investigation. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Okay, so Kate is in some sort of stable condition and under supervision. Okay. Alright, that's good. That's good. Let's now get at... Did we open this one? I don't think I'll be moshing today. I think we did, yeah. Let's bounce. Got a wallet. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Hmm. I mean, can we technically go back in time enough to save Rachel? Or at least stop her or whatever happened? I forgot what happened again. It's been so long. And I've been saying that I was going to go and check out what happened so I can be a little bit oh more in tune. Oh my god. But that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. I kind of to just, I wanted to not do that because I wanted to play this game as if it was my first experience without ever playing Life is Strange before the storm. Felt like that was more authentic, perhaps. So, Kate. Uh, come on, man. This is so annoying. Max, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. My goodness gracious. Okay, thank you for the bottom of my heart for reaching out for me or to me uh, on the roof. You're the only one that was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give him to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, so glad you're okay. I will visit as soon as I can, I promise. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> hmm. Serious flashback. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Are you using the same toothbrush? That is the most disgusting shit. Oh my god. Sorry, that's disgusting. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. No, let's not. Was that really Chloe's toothbrush? It feels so toothbrush? good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Bruh. Oh, photo. Man, I like this, this swagger on her. Looks good. Pretty good, Max. Coming out of your shell, huh? Interesting. Pretty 
For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Hmm. I better not go in there. <laughs> David might be in bed. <laughs> Ew. Oh, oh no, sorry. Nope. Didn't want to come in here. All right, bye now. That was probably very awkward. Let's go downstairs. seen these photos already wonder if we could just leave without eating and then we don't have to answer to nobody all right David is not here so that's good perfect who drinks beer this early around here uh, who do you think oh man I don't want to be famous for this last show in freak uh, freak eclipse apocalypse soon superhero and save the suicidal black will Super what? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Oh. Okay. Should we open this? I keep expecting oh. to see the sky turn red. Ah, oh, that sounds good. Nature. Hey, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Ah, uh, uh, I mean Max. Who oh, you startled me? Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. <laughs> We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Sure, why not? I can handle eggs and bacon. <clears throat> I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. <laughs> Yummy bacon. Come on, Max. Find Wait. those ingredients so we can chow down. What the hell? Oh, I got the bacon. Where are the eggs? You don't keep the eggs in the fridge? Huh? Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Hold on. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, mm. around the time of the break ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Oh shit. Should I erase that? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. Oh. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Oh my god, that's terrible. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. No, but seriously, where the... Oh, here are the eggs. They just shopped. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Hmm. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. <clears throat> Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Mm -hmm. 
Maybe. Mm -hmm. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Speak to this guy. Yikes. Peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Mm. And thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Mm -hmm. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Mm -hmm. So is there like something that happens if we wait for Max to finish her food? Can we skip it? I think she's already done. Maybe not. <sighs> Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. She ate that shit in like three bites. Okay. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. <laughs> you have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Damn, that's pretty sad. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. Keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Oh, we actually tricked her. Oh my I god. I do need to get into David's computer. <laughs> He's gotta be hiding shit. Oh fuck. This is not a good idea, girls. Not a good idea. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? <clears throat> Try again. I need more clues. She really thought that was gonna work. Okay. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Happy sweet 18, Chloe. I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love stepdad. Okay. That could work. Uh, why would I want to rewind? Family quit. Wait. Let's go. Um. Wait, if I rewind, that's to put in the password. 
Yes. <clears throat> Thanks, alright. <clears throat> or not. Alright, hold on. Let's just keep searching here. Now I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Oh. 7171. Nothing in it. I could try the license number for the password. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Chloe can't get another gun now. <clears throat> unless she steals it back from Frank. Wait, what is this switch on? Huh. Put it switch that off just in case. A book. Looks like David has read this a lot. <sighs> what did he learn? Coming back a veteran guide. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know the gentleman still exists. I'd love to talk again with you soon. By the way, my name is Joyce, if you forgot. That might be a useful password. Two whales, diner receipts, egg, sausage, coffee. Come see us again. Your server, Joyce. So that's how they met. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Hmm. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date hmm. might be a good password. Oh, 7 2007. Yes, that might be a good password. All right, so do we have to rewind just because of all the passwords we've acquired, or...? Um, personal. I'm gonna go personal. Um... No, 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 hold on. Family. I think why. Oh, shit balls. Score! Oh, Max okay. the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? What? Again, I don't remember a lot about Before the Storm. Honest, honest to God, I really don't. Rachel's been cutting uh, class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Follow Rachel to the lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police report K678 reporting officer Anderson Barry. Incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 235 at the Blackwall Academy for possession of controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen. Madsen, head of campus security who witnessed her trying to hide a secure uh, or hide a secure trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. The officer was called into question Mrs. Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for details. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Follows every same path every day to class. Overheard Kate and Dana uh, talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs. Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goat teas. Kate has kept her uh, kept to herself uh, since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs. Everything is drugs. What an idiot. This is so wrong. Mm. Oh, creepy bastard. Damn, he's got my whole fucking schedule here. What the hell? I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh boy, she's got uh, It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Yeah. Hey Max, just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. We honestly... Oh, God. 
We all saw how much you cared about Kate uh, when nobody else did. Thank you, Taylor. I know you care too. If you go to the party, I'd love to uh, style, style you up if you want. If I'd go, I would love to get a Taylor makeover. Talk soon. Oh, fuck. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students mm -hmm. taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. We deleted the, the, the memo, so... <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Ooh. Fuck, dude. If I side with David, she's gonna be pissed. If I side with her, David might slap somebody here. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, oh. you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. <laughs> like when what? I'm outflanked. What? Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Whoa. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Oh my god. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. The fuck, dude? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Okay, fine. Thanks. All right, you know what? I'm out of here. Bye, Chloe. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> Holy smokes. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, I can't shit. believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. There's a dog in there. Shipples. 
Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Hmm. All right. There has to be food for you somewhere. So here we have... Locked. Where the hell and how, how the hell do we... A bird? What is going on here? Oh, fucking dead bird? <laughs> what the hell? There's multiple dead birds on the floor. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, uh, now dying animals? Bro, there's like five dying Holy birds. Holy shit. This is so creepy. That's not normal. At all. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. So we gotta get food, so for sure we're gonna have to go inside the diner. But before we do... Oh man, this the color palette in this game is so nice. Newspaper... A truck... Oh, well, that's the same truck from last time. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. <laughs> Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Oh, this guy's so annoying. Hey. Peachy. Actually, I... I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Uh. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel? She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Okay, that one. Pretty good. There we go. It's another photo. Nice. That's such a cool feature in this game. My god. I'll never get over it. Oh, fuck. So ominous. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. Bro, how many dead birds have we seen already? Hi, 
How are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespassers. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Tell the truth? I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. Mm. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Hmm. Okay. Maybe she doesn't die. <coughs> Aw, poor lady. Maybe she doesn't die because we warned her, right? That would make sense. I mean, I don't know if tornado is going to really do anything. I know it's going to come. It's part of the story. But whether it's going to have an effect, I don't know. Because we don't know if we're going to save anybody or stop it from its disaster. Um. Okay, so here I'm going to turn off the music because I got a fat copyright strike last time. The diner's music I thought was going to be copyright free, but it wasn't. So, we're probably going to be spending a Good couple of minutes Lord. here. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. We had to get officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off of me. Four of them, though. Freaking nerds. Shit. What are the other signs, then? What does that say? The seventh sign, the sea and the sky, will turn back and living things die because of it. Kate should have jumped. What the fuck? You should have jumped, asswipe. Jeez. Bro, people in this fucking town are rude as hell. My goodness. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Oh, Nathan, what the hell? Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Oh. That is a bad combo. <gasps> <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. All right, so can let's look. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god. Are you fucking crazy? Um, spill? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. <laughs> I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> oh, he's about to knock me out. Alright. Alright, let's talk to him. Yeah, she's definitely getting a little bit more crazy now that she's kissed Chloe. She's coming out of her shell. Yeah. 
You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the mm. Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. Hmm. I better finish my breakfast first. All right, so this guy, we can rewind and ask him now about what he just told us. Uh, hello? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. There she is. Thanks. I'm glad. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut <laughs> up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Hmm. What can I do for you, Max? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Perfect. There she is. Thanks. I'm glad. Let's do weird town then. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Well, I heard a. Jeez. There's nothing else to ask him then. So now we can use this to. Hmm. So, wait, see if we can speak to him. What the fuck now? David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Hmm. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. <coughs> All right, let's go to Nathan here. See if we can talk him into anything. Rachel, 
Uh, whatever the fuck. <laughs> uh. Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Damn, dude, calm down. <sighs> Fuck. Holy shit, what do you want now? Cops information, drugs for sale, Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now oh fuck off, God. Dyke. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, this Holy sh Dude's aggressive. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> Yo, this guy's annoying. Holy I hate him. shit, what? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. <laughs> What's going on with this getting all these fucking name calls? I wonder if I can rewind. <laughs> Rachel, your father, your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father. Then tell me what, why, so you can pretend hmm. maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fuck. No, we already did that. Holy sh All right, so there's nothing else here. I guess the rewind was just for, for this guy here. Let me see if we have anything What can I do for, for you, Max? Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Mm. Okay. All right, 
So now everything's here. Speak to David. What the? F hmm. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. <laughs> Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. My work here is done here, Frank. Interesting. <laughs> what? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <sighs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <laughs> oh. More info, okay. Look at us playing these boys. With that good intel. All right, now we'll go back to, back to Frank here. David is after the gun, Chloe's dead. By drugs, Rachel's photo. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. Ooh. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. <gasps> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. No, I just rewind time and he won't even know it. That's awesome. He brought. Now back to Chloe. Nice. Excellent. Wow, that was quite the fucking investigation there. A lot of back and forth gathering information. Oh, she, she just got freaking. Oh my god, this girl, bro. Hold on. Um. By the way, thanks for one that friend. I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club after the shit you pulled with Jefferson no fucking way. You're such an emo queen that you didn't want anybody going with him to uh, SF, San Francisco. You're even too much of a pussy to enter your cliche selfies in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not sh not about saving Kate. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your woe is Max act. Get ready. Oh shit, we've got an enemy, boys. Thanks, Pops. I've been in a world one here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Uh, thing. I'll talk later. Are you shitting me? Bro. Again?
Are you shitting me? Damn it, Alyssa. Alyssa, watch out. <laughs> really? Quick thinking, Max. <laughs> Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. <laughs> this is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Okay. So I guess go back to Chloe. We've got the keys now. Oh, she found a bone? Nice. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw towards the road. Throw in the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy! I, mean, I, I think we just made that dog our bitch. Why would I get it? Throw now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. Why would I throw it on the road? Are you fucking The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Oh my god. What a heat up, dude. Oh, if I would have thrown it on the road, dog probably would have died. We're gonna get caught. There's, Damn, there's just... I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. <laughs> Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. I don't think she wants to find out. Hmm. All right, let's let's get it going before it's too late here. You scope the area while Can't I quite hack picture his Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Mm. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. <laughs> Baseball bat. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. This guy's disgusting, bro. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. That's a fat knife, too. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. <laughs> Whoa. How can somebody live like this? Yeah, I'm sorry, Chloe. I think she said something. I cut her off. I'll be right with you. Just give me a second here. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Is Frank going to deal online now? New guide to a web business. Blowtorch? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Probably gets high on his own supply. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. 
I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. All right, here we go. Chloe isn't scared. She's <laughs> loving this. That's it? What the fuck? We're done here. Are we not? Oh. Shit, that's a stash right here. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. The knife, the knife, the knife, the knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Oh my god, we're about to find a stash. He's gonna come in and kill us. My blade will open any portal. This is a fucking heat up, dude. Hmm. That's not even his stash. Probably worth more than his stash. Confessions, maybe? Oh man. Oh. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this uh, first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of my, or you're one of the best things I've, I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Was he, was she playing him or? God, I need to go back into before the storm. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Hmm. I'm learning more about <laughs> Rachel than I want to know. Wow. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And I don't blame the drugs. Or, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act the way you did. Uh, and next time will be the last. Uh, I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to take a break. Or maybe we need to break our routine. Oh, so what do you do? Fuck, man. Oh boy, 2013. This is gonna be interesting. Ooh, Frank's stash. There's a stash. Figured he would have probably put the stash where the diary was and then, I don't know, the other way around. No more secrets. Bro, this guy's gonna come in here. We're so fucked. Account book, not a diary. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Oh my god. God. He just saw us coming out of the parking lot. This is going to come back to haunt us. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. 
My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, oh, of gosh. course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh, man. Fuck. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh my god. What the fuck? What is happening now? What the fuck was different powers? Can she go back in time? Like specific moment in time? Time for a picture. Is happening. What? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Camp, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that we'll far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crickets. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oh oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I sad, am, when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. That's pretty sad, bro. She's so happy and like, she's so fucking different now. I don't know why that got me emotional. <laughs> A little emotional, that's all. Oh. Joyce loves William so much. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house, your loving wifey. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where am I? I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. <sighs> Dad, thanks for the day trip to the lighthouse. The sketch is for you to always remember. Love, Chloe. Yo, she was so different. Keys. 
That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Keys, please. Oh, man. Become such a pussy when it comes to shit like this. Ever after having kids, like, whenever there's oh, something yeah. like I miss family related. Here. Cookies and popcorn. It just hits uh -huh. different. You can't hide from me forever. Uh, so I gotta grab the keys. And impede him from grabbing them. Got the cap here. Score! <sighs> We're about to change the past? Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh my god, this is insane. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a. I know they never took that big vacation. Breakfast with Chloe and Max. Oh We're all going to work god. at the two whales. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. What now, a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Oh my god, bro, this is crazy. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the save moment. That's a cool snow dough. Delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You I know I've seen those pictures before. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. She was so happy, dude. What the fuck? All right. Sorry, dude. Lost the keys. Can't go anywhere now. You can't die. Shit. Where are those keys? Sorry. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. <laughs> I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. What? Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. What? I grabbed the keys. I need to hide the keys or William won't hear his dumb beeper. That's true. So how many eggs? Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... So you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Hmm. Oh, dude. Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Supermax. Fuck. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe oh, and Max. Oh, we can draw something here. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Oh, of course I'll come pick Sliding you up. Sliding door. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Ooh, Be there shortly. Nice. Love you. He's never gonna hear them. Perfect. Excuse me, ladies. I I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. So, do we really save Max, father? you're being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome.
That's gonna have an effect. What the fuck is happening? This is crazy. She probably never met Rachel either because of that, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe she still did. Dude, this is so wild. Oh my god. David is no longer in the picture. We have to see how this completely changes the course of time itself. This is so cool, bro. Oh my god. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? Max. Never Maxine. What is happening? I know. Sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. What? Right. He hooked up with Stella? What? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Oh my god. Oh, he's a bus driver. Oh my god. What the fuck? I've flirted with the AD and I've mentioned it in one of the other videos we did on this game. Like, if they do that, they can obviously, you know, she'll alter the time and here we are like every her life is completely different now because she changed the past and so everything else after that point in time has changed oh my god i gotta put music here because i forgot i muted the game but that's good because if not i would have gotten like some sort of copyright strike um oh my goodness this is incredible this is like I want to see what what happens now. Where is Chloe? Did she ever meet Rachel? Um, what happened with her father? He's got to be alive now. But what's that like? You know, what does she have blue hair? Are we like some sort of cool girl and she's not? Oh. They should have remastered these uh, scenes as well, honestly. Oh my god. She's gonna go to Chloe's house. Oh my goodness. I have a bad feeling about this. So, do they live there? Did they move? Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor!
I don't know why I'm sad. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Expecting that. Oh my god. That is some sad fucking shit. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my goodness. That was so unexpected. Like what? Wow, that was what an episode, man. Like third episode right now. Oh my lord. I should have known something was happening and something was going to be coming with Chloe. The episode was entirely between the relationship of her and Chloe, Max and Chloe, Max and Chloe, Max and Chloe here there. And then bam. They just fucking gave us that shit. We changed time itself. Future events have changed life completely. Max is now a cool girl, doesn't hang out with Chloe as much as you can see they haven't seen each other in a while. Chloe is paralyzed. What the fuck? Yo, like that shit hit me harder than I thought. Like I'm st I'm about to cry. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. If you guys want to see episode four, drop a like on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I, I, I need to log off and just kind of vent. That, that was fucking incredible, dude. Wow. That is some sad, sad storytelling. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed uh, episode three of Life is Strange. Thank you all so much for the support on the series. It's it's This is a special, special game. And it, it is so, so, so good. I'm so happy to start that, that, that I started to play this. But uh, we'll call it quits here. Thank you all again. Stay tuned. We will finish this game. Don't worry. Incredible. I'll catch you guys later.